Welcome to our video on the power of vitamin D in fighting osteoporosis and cancer. Vitamin D is an incredible nutrient that could really make a difference in the fight against osteoporosis and cancer. While it's not a replacement for standard treatments, making sure your vitamin D levels are where they should be can definitely help. With a few lifestyle changes and some guidance from your doctor, you might give your body that extra boost it needs to prevent and manage these conditions. Keeping your vitamin D levels in check could be a powerful tool for maintaining strong bones and lowering your cancer risk. In this video, we're going to dive into the amazing science behind how vitamin D supports bone health and might help prevent cancer. We'll also share some tips on how you can get your vitamin D levels up to where they need to be. And if you stick around until the end, we'll reveal the top sources of this essential nutrient. If you're currently being treated for osteoporosis or cancer, make sure to consult your doctor before making any changes. Vitamin D is meant to complement your existing treatment plan, not replace it. Before we get started, please give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already, consider subscribing to our channel for more health tips. Don't forget to ring the notification bell so you'll know whenever we post a new video. So let's start our discussion with the question, what is vitamin D? Vitamin D is an essential nutrient that our bodies rely on to stay healthy and strong. It's often called the sunshine vitamin because our skin naturally produces it when we're exposed to sunlight. This vitamin is fat soluble which means it's stored in our body's fat cells, and it plays a big role in helping us absorb calcium and phosphorus, both of which are crucial for keeping our bones strong. But vitamin D isn't just about bone health. It also boosts our immune system, helps reduce inflammation, and even fights against certain cancers, especially colorectal cancer. In fact, a 2022 study found that low vitamin D levels are linked to higher rates of colorectal cancer and deaths from the disease. One of the most well-known benefits of vitamin D is its ability to prevent osteoporosis, a condition that makes bones weak and brittle. Without enough vitamin D, our bodies struggle to absorb calcium, which can lead to bone loss and a higher risk of fractures. Later on, we'll dive into how much vitamin D you actually need to stay healthy. But first, let us dive deeper into the link between vitamin D and cancer prevention. So how exactly does vitamin D help prevent cancer? It turns out that vitamin D receptors are found in all sorts of tissues throughout the body, not just in our bones. This suggests that vitamin D plays a much bigger role in our overall health than we might have thought. Some studies have shown that higher levels of vitamin D are linked to a lower risk of certain cancers, particularly colorectal, breast, and prostate cancers. For example, a 2011 meta-analysis published in the Journal of Cancer found that people with higher vitamin D levels had a lower risk of developing colorectal cancer, about 15% lower to be exact. Another study, the Phase II Sunshine trial published in JAMA in 2019, looked at patients with metastatic colorectal cancer. It found that those who received high-dose vitamin D3, along with standard chemotherapy, had better progression-free survival compared to those who received a standard dose of vitamin D3. Dr. Joanne Manson of Harvard explains that vitamin D may help make tumor cells less aggressive and less likely to spread. Animal studies even suggest that vitamin D supplements can positively change the behavior of cancer cells. While it's still too early to recommend high-dose vitamin D specifically for cancer prevention, the research so far is promising. Now that we have that covered, let's take a look at the connection between vitamin D and bone health. As we mentioned, vitamin D is often called the sunshine vitamin because our bodies can produce it when our skin is exposed to sunlight. But there's more to it than just being a vitamin. It's actually a pro-hormone. Once vitamin D is in your body, it gets converted into its active hormonal form called calcitriol, which is crucial for maintaining healthy, strong bones. A 2021 review in the journal Nutrients highlighted the importance of both calcium and vitamin D for bone health. The review pointed out that vitamin D plays a key role in helping our bodies absorb calcium and keeping our serum calcium levels high enough to properly mineralize our bones. Without enough vitamin D, your body can't absorb calcium effectively, no matter how much you get from your diet or supplements. When this happens, your body starts pulling calcium from your bones, which weakens them and makes it harder to form new, strong bone. 
Over time, a deficiency in vitamin D can contribute to the development of osteoporosis, a condition that makes bones brittle and prone to fractures. That's why keeping your vitamin D levels optimal is so important, not just for preventing osteoporosis, but for overall bone health. Now let's dive into an important question. How much vitamin D do you actually need? According to the NIH, most adults should aim for about 600 IU of vitamin D each day. If you're over 70, that recommendation goes up to 800 IU daily. But it's important to remember that these are just general guidelines. Your actual needs can vary depending on factors like your age, skin color, where you live, and your overall health. Some experts even think that these recommended levels might be a bit too low. Dr. Joanne Manson from Harvard, who led the groundbreaking vitamin D and omega-3 trial, VITAL, recommends aiming for 1,000 to 2,000 IU of vitamin D daily for optimal health. This is particularly important if you're at a higher risk for vitamin D deficiency. So, how do you actually get enough vitamin D? To answer this question, let's first talk about the different sources of vitamin D. Most people get their vitamin D from sun exposure. When UVB rays from the sun hit your skin, they kickstart a process that helps your body produce vitamin D. But there are a few factors that can affect how much vitamin D you actually make from sunlight. For example, if you live far from the equator, you might not get enough UVB exposure during the winter months to produce sufficient vitamin D. Your skin color also matters. People with darker skin need more sun to make the same amount of vitamin D as those with lighter skin. And if you're diligent about using sunscreen, you might be blocking some of the UVB rays that help produce vitamin D. But don't worry, according to the Skin Cancer Foundation, daily sunscreen use won't completely block your vitamin D production because no sunscreen blocks 100% of UVB rays. So, keep up the sunscreen to protect your skin from cancer, but also consider a little bit of unprotected sun exposure to boost your vitamin D. Just be mindful of the risk of sunburn. Now, if you're not getting enough sun, don't stress. There are other ways to get your vitamin D. Certain foods are naturally rich in vitamin D, like fatty fish, think salmon, tuna, and mackerel. You can also find it in egg yolks and mushrooms that have been exposed to UV light. Some foods, like milk, cereal, and orange juice, are also fortified with vitamin D. As we've mentioned earlier, vitamin D is crucial for strong bones, and may even protect against some cancers. It's essential for calcium absorption, helping to prevent osteoporosis and fractures, especially in older adults. Vitamin D also plays a role in regulating cell growth and reducing inflammation, which may help prevent cancer. Vitamin D deficiency is pretty common, so it's important to keep your levels optimized. This might mean getting some sensible sun exposure, eating more vitamin D rich foods, or even considering supplements with your doctor's guidance. Remember, the right approach can vary from person to person, so it's crucial to work with your healthcare provider. They can assess your individual needs, create a suitable plan, check for deficiencies, recommend the right dosages, and monitor your levels over time. By optimizing your vitamin D levels, you're not only supporting your bones, but also helping your body in the fight against cancer. And there you have it, the power of vitamin D in fighting osteoporosis and cancer. We hope you found this video helpful and insightful. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with friends, and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us continue creating valuable content and raising awareness about important health topics like the role of vitamin D. Now we'd love to hear from you. Do you have a favorite vitamin D rich food or a unique way to boost your vitamin D levels that we didn't mention? Let us know in the comments below. Your tips and suggestions are highly valued and can be a great source of additional knowledge for our community. Remember, optimizing your vitamin D levels can be easier than you think, but it's just one piece of the puzzle. A balanced diet, regular exercise, stress management, and routine checkups with your doctor are all important in preventing osteoporosis and reducing cancer risk. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.